Prophetic Messages from the Lord, 14th June, 2016. The first series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Sister Barb, and the title she gives to her prophetic word that she received from the Lord is Love Equal Strength. And it begins, My daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. Every heart perceives and receives me differently. My relationship is different with each person on your earth. Perhaps one person has a wonderful relationship with their earthly father, while another person grew up fatherless. These two individuals will see me differently. These different relationships cause different beliefs about me to form. If one person believes one way and another person believes another, it's human nature for each to try to prove their way to be the correct way. I ask this of all my children. Realize that you will never agree on all things. Realize that each child of mine relies on a different path set, on past experiences, and different levels of knowledge to base their personal beliefs on. Some people's belief may not be the same as yours. What should my children do when they disagree? My children, unless this is a disagreement over who I am and my plan of salvation, love one another. I created man. Man fell in the garden and at that moment was corrupt. I shed my blood on the cross as a sacrifice for the sin of mankind and rose three days later after completely defeating the enemy. My battle is finished. Victory is mine. Whether or not a person receives me into their heart is what matters. My Holy Spirit being received into the hearts of my children is what matters. Most of what I see my children arguing over are matters of man-made doctrine. Every one of my children will come to me over a different time frame, a different way, and on different paths that arrive at the same kingdom address. Each child of mine will face a different set of circumstances that will be used to create in each heart a heart after my very own. Children, in some cases, you must agree to disagree on matters that do not affect your final destination. Always be gracious to your brothers and sisters as you will run across those who are firm in their beliefs. Be gracious, my children. Do not let the enemy drive a wedge between you when you don't understand things the same way. My salvation message is so simple that most anyone can understand it. As your world, as your world continues to spiral into darkness, my salvation message will soon become the only thing that matters. For now, love one another. Extend the olive branch to anyone who has offended you. Tear down the walls of discord and unite as my church. You will, you will have different beliefs and understandings of my word and what it means and how my end time plan will carry out. Do not let these differences and, op and opinions keep you apart. Come together now, my children, for your force will be strongest as a united force, united in love. Forgive one another. Love one another. My Holy Spirit within you is the ultimate teacher. Do not rely on your own understanding. Always rely on His. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Sharon. Uh, the title she gave to the prophetic message she received is Heal Your Heart, June 12, 2016. And it begins, <clears throat> Children, if you have hurt someone, ask forgiveness. If they have hurt you, forgive. When you hold on to unforgiveness, 
that closes your heart to me. If you cannot forgive, bring it to me. I will take it and heal your heart. You see, children, that is extra weight you do not want to hold on to. My children do not hold on to unforgiveness. No, they bring it to me. My children are light. Yes, my children will not allow that unforgiveness to fester into bitterness. No, you were not created to walk in bitterness. The more you hold on to bitterness, the less I am able to work through you. All this, I tell you, is for your own welfare. It grieves me to see my children so weighed down, so bring all your concerns to me. Let me heal those open wounds. Let me take those scars and heal them. Let me soften your hearts and renew your spirits. Come, sit before me. Tell me all your secrets. I will help you. I love you deeply, my children. I'm always there for you, waiting to take all those burdens from you. But you, most, uh, you must allow me. That is my blessing to you. Come, let me help you. This is not the time to be holding on to unforgiveness. You need to let me take it. Do you see what holding on to unforgiveness is? Yes, must I say, lack of faith. Yes, you show by holding on to unforgiveness that you have no faith in me. So you see that, my children. So again I say, build up your faith. Have faith, I will fix all wrongs. All, not some. I love you, my children. I love you. Your waiting king, Yeshua HaMashiach. And then he led me to these scriptures. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. James 3 verse 14. And if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 19. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 1, verse 7. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Ellen. And the title, Daily Prophetic Word, June 14, 2016. The Father says, You are going to have critics. The closer you walk with me, the more people will spring up to claim you are wrong and misguided. Learn to have a deaf ear out of love for them and not strife. I will deal with your accusers, bless them and release them to me. You cannot convince a mind that has already decided that they are right. Release the mind within yourself that you have to be right, for this stems from pride. It does not matter who makes illegitimate claims against you. I know the truth, and I will settle the score against you. When you let the enemy's arrows distract you, then you play into the hands and wander off and wander off course. The enemy will always demand that you answer charge after charge and accusation after accusation. You will never be satisfied. You will never satisfy their argument. I will be your guide and I will tell you when you are off course. If you are seeking me daily, you will not miss my shifts in your life. I am asking you this hour to work with an increase of humility. You have been promoted, but many will not see this new level in your life right away. Be okay with their delayed reaction and acceptance that you have indeed gone higher in my ways. People will try to keep you at the old level and even push you back down at times. You are not leaving familiar people behind, but they may not be able to go with you from here on out. Do not let an offended heart sink into your life. Be flexible and at ease with those around you. I have you in my hands. I have your steps arranged and in order. Just keep looking up and you will continue to rise above all adversity. 
I will heal your heart, and lavish you with my goodness. The cost of abandoning the daily routine to be my servant, sold out and ready to go, is a high cost. The storms may become stronger, but you are much stronger and able to withstand any and all trials that rage against your walls. You have allowed me to build those walls brick by brick. You have earned your promotion. I am well pleased with you. The title of the next prophetic word. Daily Prophetic Word, June 13, 2016. The Father says, I will bring healing to the nations, but my people need to pray about these matters with an unceasing act in their daily lives. The world is fractured, but not broken. The world is divided, but can come back to order. Many have felt that all of the negative is just supposed to be there and accepted. I say to you this day that this is not truth. My very nature would not just let evil and lawlessness go unchecked. It is the complacent heart of my people that has not asked for my hand to move with power. Come together as my people with the cause and voice, for this is the beating of my heart for you. If I say that you are walking into the best years of your life, but you continue to believe all is hopeless, your prayers will remain weak and non-expectant that I will do anything about what is going on all around you. Do you see me as a God who does not care or one that wishes calamity upon the world? My people need to not accept the lies of the enemy in their heart, mind, and through their actions. You are world changers. This is the rule and reign of my people. I open many opportunities for those who are willing and looking for ways to make a radical difference for my name's sake. You are not helpless. And in fact, you are prepared for everything that I put before you. I would not send you out to something that was impossible for you to accomplish. Many are prepared in secret, and many are made ready out in the open. I know what you will need before you go out your door in the morning. My kingdom comes to the earth. This is where I am working on your behalf. This is where I will answer your prayers and needs. Your time here is not finished. I am the author and finisher of your faith. I will increase all that you need in this hour. Come before me and let me show you what you are to do. Time has not run out no matter how many scream to the contrary. You are here for this now on the earth. You are the one who can make a difference. Today, see yourself the way I see you, fully capable and ready to go, for the world needs what you have to offer. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Glenda Linkus. Title, Tuesday, June 14, 2016. Do not give up. Do not give up, my children. If answers are long and coming, to your prayers you are not ignored you are bef you are before me and i consider each prayer carefully your lives and destinies in me are precious before me and i carefully orchestrate each detail for your benefit and for the benefit of all those in my kingdom because of this some answers cannot come quickly Many souls are at stake with every move and my plans for you. Remember, I love you with an everlasting love, and I do know what is best for each of you, what is best for you overall, what is best for you right now in your time. I know what is best for all those connected to you. Strive to develop patience 
and understanding as you wait, that you may wait with me as each detail is worked out for the best for all concerned. Be not hasty and think I have abandoned you, for I will never leave you or forsake those who are mine. Supporting Scriptures, 2 Peter 3 verse 9. Isaiah 45 verse 4, John 3 verse 16, Jeremiah 31 verse 3, Colossians 1 verse 10 through 12, and Proverbs 4 verse 7. The title of the next prophetic message, Monday, June 13, 2016, Persecution Comes. My precious children, do you not see what is happening in the world around you? Darkness is beginning to descend upon the earth, and those without my light will no longer see or understand truth. Those who refuse truth now will not be granted the truth later, for they are given over to the, to the darkness. Those who know me will sh now shine like the sun through this dark time, and suffer much persecution. Woe to those who call good evil and evil good in this time, for their end is destruction. Repentance shall not be granted them, for they have refused the truth and chosen the lie. They are not mine. Abide in me, abide in my presence, that I may protect you from all that is to come, my precious ones, for much evil comes into the world, and you will be hated for my name's sake. But those who endure to the end shall be saved. Prepare for persecution, my children, for it comes. The enemy is filled with wrath, for he knows he has but a short time. Now, and he desires your soul. Stand and refuse to be moved from your most holy faith. Stand and proclaim my name boldly. For I myself will defend you, and I will receive you unto myself at the end. The enemy will pass laws against my people, but he will be unable to stop my gospel in the earth. For I have a people that is bold and courageous, a people who will refuse to be silenced. Do not fear when you see these things happen, my children, but rejoice, for the end is nearer and you are coming home to me. Supporting scriptures, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24 through 26. Isaiah 60, verses 1 through 2. As, um, Isaiah 5, verse 19 through 24. Matthew 24, verse 8 through 10. Revelation 12, verse uh, 10 through 12. And Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. The next prophetic series comes from a brother that goes by the name Swift Passage. And the title is Word from the Lord, Daniel chapter 9. And it begins, I received this message from the Lord at 9.35 p.m., 10th of June, 2016. This is it, my son. Tell my children the trumpet for all believers will sound ushering in the seven-year tribulation mentioned in Daniel chapter 9. My son, those that are ready will enter into the spiritual realm where they will spend eternity with me, their Savior. My son, the time is no more. This will begin with the shofar sounds bringing all souls that belong to me and to my glorious kingdom. Shalom, my bride. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Wendy. And it's titled, Message from Father God Yahweh, Calamities Will Occur Before the Rapture. I received this word at 10.50 p.m. today, 11th of June, 2016. Daughter, lovely and kind are you. Take down Papa's word eternal that you received by my son Yeshua in my glorious throne room. Write them, my child, Wendy. As my scribe writes my eternal and flawless words, Papa wants you to know that my daughter's life has been completely turned upside down. Papa allows things to happen for my children's good. I make them work perfectly for my purposes. Her husband shall live and he shall be ever so humble by me, Yehovah Yahweh. I set paths for all of my creation 
and Donald must walk in the path that I have called them to. Wendy is my faithful, and she will be, and she will be taken care of in miraculous ways. So many things that she could never imagine is about to be seen and experienced by her and her husband. My saints, Father desires to give all of my children that walk so closely with my son Yeshua wonderful surprises and gifts, and so it shall be. The ringing of the chains, the alarms, the shofar, the sand of the hourglass are all saying that time is no more. Chaos is coming and my saints who think they will be raptured up by my son Yeshua before any calamities occur are going to get their hearts broken. It will pain Papa's heart to see this. But Papa God Yahweh has said through my faithful messengers that what you expect is not the way it is going to be. The vision of my saints is going to occur through the enemy's vices, for he is going to do everything he can get a way to take my holy children down. The enemy knows if they truly belong to my son Yeshua, they will live with their God forever. But he wants to make the ending of their lives on this earth most miserable. My son's bride, who are caught up in man's doctrine, is going to be shocked and confused. Do not be caught unawares, my children. Get into my holy scriptures and find out my holy and eternal truth. Father says this. Father says to do this. Time is up. The final birth pains and judgments are peeking through now. Do not be caught off guard. The rapture will not happen when the wishful thinkers say so. Father Yahweh, wisdom and grace has spoken. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Sister Barbara. And the title is June 12, 2016, Angel of Light, Lucifer. And it begins, The devil comes down to you, the deceiver of peoples and nations. He hides himself in the white light. Hide your eyes from the deceiver. Do not look upon him. All will be revealed to those with eyes and to those with ears and all those having the spirit of the living God. Your heart will speak the truth. Do not underestimate the adversary. He seeks out my children and tries to destroy them. Have comfort knowing I am with you and I am the truth and the way. Stay on the narrow path. I will lead you and guide you. The wide path will lead you to your destruction. The adversary, the, the destroyer, waits on this path for those gone astray. Remember, he knows your name, and his army is smart and sophisticated. They know where you live. They watch you for him. He will send people into your life to distract you from doing my will. Be on guard for those calling themselves your friend. I have not sent them. And this concludes the reading of the available transcript for uh, the prophetic messages of today. Um, there are other websites, as I mentioned before, that does not have the transcripts, but have the um, audio uh, prophetic release. And the first would be Sister Claire. Um, she has three messages. The first is titled, These Light and Monetary Sufferings. The second one, Powerful Urgent Warning Dream, June 11, 2016. And a third, Permission to Burn and Travailing Prayer. Um, the next prophetic messages can be received from Brian Lestrange. Um, he releases a Monday word, prophetic Monday word as the Lord, as he has agreed with the Lord. And the Lord has agreed with him that every Monday he will release a specific important word to the body of Christ that will um, that they can feed on for that week and this one is very very important uh, for those who are considered to be the Lord's hidden ones because the title of this Monday word is hidden for a reason to understand why we are still in that dry place and the Lord has not called us into action yet um, now going to the end time news we have the angel of apocalypse on signs of the end part 173 
178. Then we have Jason A. This is real proof. We are in the end times, 2006 to 2017. And then you have your end time radio show by John Baptist. Uh, the name of the show that he's, he is hosting uh, for this segment is Tribulation Now, 11th of June, 2016. Be Yielded, Eden to Armageddon with Joel Jeffries, um, part number six, Illusions. Um, and in addition to that, there's supplementary information. So that's your uh, baptism um, corner for those who desire to be baptized and are looking for um, a basis to where they can get started to find out the basic foundations that is taught in the Bible concerning baptism and salvation. There's also the intercessory prayer strategies and spiritual warfare 101 training. Thank you for listening and may God bless you.